I'd like to introduce you to the level of precision that you can achieve with our new bench crosscut saw. First, a little bit about the saw. It has 13 teeth per inch. It has two, in depth, two inch depth of cut. The blade's 11 inches long. The saw plate is 25 thousandths of an inch thick. Now, our teeth have only two thousandths of an inch set per side. Because they're cut with a diamond saw instead of being stamped, it does not deform the saw plate. And because of that, we can get away with such a narrow set. Now, you have to have some set. If not, the saw will bind in the cut. But the more set you have, the more those teeth rake the sides of the cut, and you end up with a terrible cut. Well, narrow set, very, very precise. I, I'm a fan of... Uh, getting the best tool there is and bringing your skill level up to where you can use it and get maximum use of it instead of buying a lesser quality tool that you'll eventually want to replace. Now this does require a little bit of skill but like I said why not get the tool that will eventually enable you to do that. So I'm going to come in here I'm going to try to make a cut and have a wafer thin piece of wood that would just be the thickness of the saw curve. Now the more set you'd have on those teeth the more it would turn that little wafer into nothing but dust particles. Now some of it came apart, but for the most part it's intact. And you can see how thin that is. Now, what's really important, of course, is how smooth the cut is. So where does this saw fit in? Well, you're building something at your bench. Instead of having to run over to your table saw every time you need to make a cut, the bench crosscut saw can do that job for you and get you extremely close. We actually have a uh, crosscut saw, what we call a joinery saw, and this is the one that we use to go in and actually make the joint cuts. But any of the dimensioning that you can do with a handsaw, this would be the saw to get.